Bless y'all. It's Brother TJ here. Um, this is probably the final warning to Christiana Clemmings. That is my wife. I shared the story, talked about what's happened uh, briefly, and that was done so that she may see the error in her ways. So that she might see that taking the children from their father is a wicked act. Throwing a man's clothes outside of the home that he's paid for is a wicked act. Going to the courts, the unjust, to try to control her husband is a wicked act. <clears throat> um telling half truths or just flat out lying um about me about where I was and um things that I was doing this not this year but within this you know 12 month period talking about all that stuff bringing all that stuff up and painting me out to be this man that I'm not they were warning videos for her to get her act together. <clears throat> because many of you may say, TJ, you, 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 you joined a cult. Yeah, they, they, they wear white. Oh, they wear red. Oh, they keep the Sabbath and they dress funny and they do all these things. But what I found was the people of the book, the people that this Bible talks about. <clears throat> The remnant, the few. That's why you won't see me. Unless it's a funeral, you will not see me in a Christian church ever again. Unless it is a funeral. Because you guys weekly break the Sabbath. You put up Christmas trees in your homes and in your churches. And say, oh, it's Christmas Sunday. Jesus is the reason for the season. You lead people to believe that Easter is about Jesus. But you have these big ass bunnies in the church and Easter eggs all over the place. But this is what you do. And you serve in the most high Yah, or as you guys call him, God. But you can't find that nowhere in there that these are things that his people, his chosen people are supposed to do. But I've warned my wife. These these videos were not just for my health or just for fun. And, and these videos not were not just only for her. They were also for other people to learn. Because what happens now in the Christian church is you just see people, they there and they disappear. And you don't know what happened. You don't know. You don't know what was done. You don't you don't know what the sin was. So you yourself can make sure I don't I don't do that. There's, there's people here at Straightway I've never met. But I know what they've done. So and I, I'm like, oh, that okay, that that was that's what happened. Okay, now I know not to go down that path, not to do this. It's, there's there's no, it's nothing that's con, that's concealed as far as you know the wrongdoings. You want people to know when somebody has done wrong and when somebody is doing wrong so they don't go down and make the same mistake. But in Christianity, they just sweep that shit under the rug. Like, why is that? Why is that? What happened to Why are they divorced? Uh, I mean, you know, they just couldn't work it out. What? Why, why, why is Christiana showing up to church with, with five children? Where's the, where's the, five? oh, he's, what the, whatever the hell y'all be saying about me. But none of it is the truth. Because for anybody that truly knows me, they would know I would never abandon my family. But that's the language you guys use. Oh, he's abandoned his family. Kiss my ass. And I'm still going to the kingdom. I abandoned my family. But when I went to train the camp for four weeks, was that abandonment? Oh, no, that was, that was not abandonment because you... That's to go bring in some money for the year, you know, for the year and for the family. 
But if I take a trip to check out a ministry to make sure my family's salvation was secure, it's abandonment. Because I was upset with my wife, which I'm allowed to be. There's no, there's nothing in the book that says a man cannot be frustrated or upset with his wife. I'm allowed to be, and I was. And so I didn't verbally express where I was going to be. So it was abandonment. But I left cash, credit cards, and everything intact. Firearms, ammunition, readily available just in case something happened for my family. And paid my sister handsomely to make sure she could take care of what was going on in the farm while I went on this little journey. But I abandoned my family. But yet they didn't miss a meal. The lights were still on. They still had clothes. Running water. So, Christiana, this is for you. And for anybody who sees this, Creative Church, Pastor Jonathan, Miss Joanne, anybody who I once knew, I sit there and I probably hold my children and laugh in this man and just knowing, knowing that their life is going to be trash. I'm not speaking that over again. It's just what it is. Look at the times that we're in. Look at what's, what's coming down the line and look at that. There, there's no, there's no real future. Now you take the father out of the home. I didn't, I didn't just wake up and leave myself. I was forced. My wife did exactly what, eh, eh, she did exactly what 1 Corinthians 6 said not to do. And that that's brother to brother. There's no instructions in there saying, oh, wives, don't take your husband to the. That's not even a thing. That shouldn't even be a thing. But yet the system caters to women doing that. So now they think it's okay. And see, what y'all have this thing backwards is y'all think <clears throat> that these laws of this land supersede the laws of y'all. They don't. Because just as, as any man or woman goes to a court and they sit in there and there's a judge on the stand, that judge is supposed to be judging them based off of the laws of the land. So when y'all think we die and we go to enter into eternity and it's time for judgment, what laws do you think the Most High is going to be using to make judgments against our souls? He's, he's, I know for damn sure he's not using the laws of America. He's not just going, oh, let me get the laws of Africa. This world is wicked. He's not using any of these, any of these laws. He's using his laws that came from his mouth that were given to his people. And whether you believe him or not, you're still going to be judged by those same laws. That's the truth. I don't care if you don't like the delivery. Oh, Jesus. Jesus is about peace. He loves everybody. Shut up. He even said out of his own mouth, I, I didn't come to bring peace, but a sword. Preach about that. Anyway, so to my wife, I woke up this morning. Some was just on my spirit to just say, just, just check your house. My house, my home. Well, it's not my home anymore. <clears throat> but the place that I purchased, me, me, not my wife. Me, because remember, being generously, she made about 700 bucks in the five years. She has my farm, my 25 acre farm on sale for almost a million dollars. Now, it says pending, so it seems like there's a deal in place. And it's OK. It is OK, because what she is doing, Christiana, what you are doing, you're filling up your cup. You're chasing after the things of this world. That's what you're doing. Because what you did was you try to cut me off from uh, resources and money and try to get. That shit ain't working. Everything you stole. You thought you were stealing it because you are doing it for the benefit of the family. And you literally lost your salvation. You literally lost your salvation. The father was drawing me to where he needed our family to be. You went the other way. I chose to follow him. 
and do his will. And try to live according to his word. You went the other way. So you lost your covering. You removed the image of God in the home from the children. Uh, guys, I already know you, you tried, you're trying to erase me from out of the children, from out of Trey's mind. I get it because there's, I once used to be on your little piano, your parents' piano in their home. I once used to be there. There's not a photo of me in sight. It's you with the children as if you created them yourself. Keep going, though. Keep filling it up. Because now you're going to expect these children to grow up and love God, a God they cannot see. When you remove their father, who was the who's made in the image of, of God, out of that. <clears throat> Maybe maybe I'm looking at this wrong. I, I don't know. But that's that's what you have done. That's what you have done. I didn't do this. So now you're selling a farm. A property that you literally had to force me out of. Which is cool. Because look, I still, I still got a roof over my head. Still got a nice bed. I'm lacking in nothing. It's just money. That's really all it is. But you worrying about what's happening down here on this earth. My focus is the kingdom. That's it. But you, you have chosen this. So don't be surprised when calamity comes. Destruction. That, don't be surprised. Because your, your next move, your next move is adultery. You're only 30 years old, if you haven't already committed adultery. And for those who don't know, adultery is based off of the status of the woman, not the man. That's in your Bible. So believe what you want to believe. It's literally in there. I have not given you a bill of divorce. I have not gone into your court systems. I haven't approved of anything. I haven't approved of my home being sold. I haven't approved of my children being out of my life. I, I have literally approved of nothing. Those, those chairs that are in your parents' home, where your mother and father sit down and drink their little coffee, stolen. Workout equipment that may be at your sister's, stolen. I did not approve of any of that stuff. That's all stuff I purchased, not you. So now you somehow feel you have the right to disperse and give and sell and do all these things? Stolen. But enough of my words. Let's just, let's just see what this book says. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but let's start at Romans chapter 2. Verse 24, it says, wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Now, as we're going to go through, he's talking about homosexuality, but there's more. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creator, the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. I mean. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, um, unapproved, a rejected mind. That's what y'all gave them up to. Um, and they and they did 
not like to retain God in their knowledge. God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do these things which are not convenient. Nothing that you've done, Christiana, is convenient. Show me the convenience in having five children, no father, in 2021. Or at any year of life. Show me the convenience in having no spiritual covering. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness. Everything you've done has been malicious. You can't, you, you can't tell me you have the Holy Spirit. Not possible. You are in bed with Satan right now and you don't even know it and your eyes are blinded. And your family's eyes are blinded. Folks at church may know, but they're not going to say nothing because I don't want to get involved. In that, that's how they roll. But you're in bed right now with Satan. You have been a rebellious woman, a rebellious wife. You have not gone in the right way. It's not my words. It's just it's coming out of the... Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, that would be you, haters of Yah or God, that would be you, despiteful, proud, that's definitely you, boasters, inventors of evil things, Disobedient to parents without understanding. You have no understanding. All you have to do is follow me. You didn't do it because you thought you understood. But you had no understanding. Covenant breakers. That would be you. Without natural affection. That would be you. I mean, I mean <laughs> only I can say this because I know you. Implicable, unmerciful. You have been unmerciful to your children. You wrap it up and you say you love them, but you have no mercy. Forget me, because none of the stuff that you have done to me is being done to me. Just so, just know that you have lit. When you threw my clothes out the house, that was y'all's clothes that you threw out the house. When you try to lie and take me and and to and and make you know the courts come bust up the home and do all that stuff. It wasn't that wasn't against me. You're doing that against the most high. When you told me you love who I used to be and pretty much telling me you don't love me anymore, that wasn't against me. So nothing that you've done. It, it, it's, yes, it's done to my flesh, but it's, it's not me. So that's why I can sit here and just, you know, be cool because you know what? She, she, she's not even doing this against me. Y'all don't, don't even have the eyes to see the spiritual wickedness that's happening right now. Right now, you don't even have the eyes. But I understand that. Because it wasn't given to you. All you had to do was follow. So now you've been unmerciful to the children. Now you rob your children, my children, from something that we both had. I, both of my parents are still together. Both of your parents are still together. And here you come and take Trey, Rory, and the triplets from their... What? <laughs> no mercy. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Because if I just sit here and just talk, everybody's like, oh, TJ, you just, you know, making up stuff and, you know, it's just, you know, no, I'm reading. I'm going to read out this book. First Corinthians chapter six. It says, dare any of you having a matter against another, another, any of you. So let's just say there's men and women, Paul's, you know, preaching and he's telling them. You know, so he's not, he's not saying, oh, it's just meant any of you having a matter against another. 
go to law before the unjust and not before the saints. I went to the church. Still, I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting a phone call. Now it's not coming. Went to the church. Went to the church, but because they couldn't answer my question of why don't we keep the Sabbath, I started treading in waters. They, they didn't want to swim in those waters. So the easiest thing was to do was just, just cut him off. Oh, he's gone. He's lost. Why, why can't we work this out? Why can't we, I mean, after hundreds of thousands of dollars given, I think it would, I mean, it would at least be fair to at least talk this out. The problem is y'all in Christianity, y'all don't even know the God that you serve. You think he's one way, but this book literally shows he, he he's not what you and I have thought that he is. Anyway, I digress. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Y'all are not, not judging no world, bro. I already tell you, I can tell you that right now. Y'all are not judging the world. Christianity. Not possible. Know you not that we shall judge angels. You're not judging the angel if you can't even judge. Okay, who, the husband and the wife, this is what's being said. Who's right, who's wrong based on this word. <clears throat> They're not doing that. So know you not that we shall judge angels. How much more things that pertain to this life, the matters of this life should be, should be simpler. Not easy. It should be a little simpler to just judge if you use this word. If then you having, have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed, um, least esteemed in the assembly or in the church. I should be able to go to the, I don't even know if we have janitors. Whoever cleans the toilet and say, hey, this is the, this is the matter based on this. Couldn't even do that. I speak to your shame. It is so that there is not a wise man among you. You tell me in all of creative church, I couldn't find, there's not one. Not one. That shall be able to judge between his brethren. But brother go to law with brother and that before the unbelievers. <clears throat> Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you because you go to law one with another. Why do you not rather take wrong? I've done that. My wife has defaulted me to my understanding. I didn't. I'm not. I'm not you're not going to summon me to have unbelievers tell me what to do with my family. This, this is what the book says. Why do you not rather take wrong? Why do you not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? I can say that has been the case, which is why my home is somehow for sale. But I didn't sign off. I didn't sign anything, actually, agreeing to anything. Interesting. <clears throat> Nay, you do wrong and defraud and that your brethren. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves. <sighs> thieves? Christiana, you've stolen the children. You've stolen money. Paper money. You've stolen gold and silver. You've stolen lands. Thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners. <laughs> Extort, almost, I didn't even, anyway, just know that's you. Shall inherit the kingdom. There's no inheritance for you. There's no inheritance for you. You have stolen You have a broken cup, bro. It's, 
Go ahead, keep going. You keep going to church and thinking you're good just because you show up to church. And oh, by the way, if she give you a nice size offering, just understand that's from stolen money, but it's from me. So now, remember I said earlier, you're on your way to adultery. I'm going to show you how. Well, Paul's going to explain. Actually, Yah's really going to be the one to speak through Paul to explain that. So go uh, first, uh, first Corinthians chapter seven, verse 10. It says, unto and unto the married, I command, yet not I. So now Paul's removed himself. It's not me, but the Lord. Let not the wife depart from her husband. Y'all think I could just, oh, my feelings, oh, we're not being romantic, oh, we're not this. You think I could just wake up and just walk away from your husband just because of how you feel that day or because you don't understand something? But let me, let's let y'all finish speaking. Let not, the wife, let not the wife depart from her husband, but, and if she depart, let her remain unmarried. So guys. Anybody who knows my wife, if you see her prancing around, she got a little boyfriend, or she's an adulterer, adulteress. Because Paul just said, if you depart from your husband, let her remain unmarried, or there's still hope, or be reconciled to her husband. And, and you Christians are going to be like, well, that's the same thing. TJ, go be reconciled to your wife. Kiss my ass. That's not what it says. Be reconciled to her husband and let not the husband put away his wife. See, people think, oh, God hates divorce. Who told you that? Where did you where did you see that at? Because he never said that. He, he doesn't like the putting away because you put a woman, you put a woman away. You leave her in a state where she can't, her, she essentially cannot continue on in her life. She can't get remarried. If she has a desire to have children. She can't have children because you literally put her away. But y'all, y'all not going to, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. So now we've been deceived so much now that we think that a woman can just, oh, my feelings. Let me just hustle down to the courthouse and and and, and make up some bullshit on my husband. That's not book. That's not in this Bible. So y'all need y'all don't even be understanding what y'all doing. You have no understanding, Christiana, of what you have done. You have put your children that you so-called love in jeopardy. By trying to keep them away from their father. You have put your own soul in jeopardy. And you think you think this is all blessings? God's not. He's, I, I'm 110,000% sure he is not blessing what you have done. Not possible. Maybe the guy at Christianity, yeah, he he would you would think, oh, because money's falling, I can I can sell my home for more than my husband paid for it, and I can get the money and I oh God's blessing me, he's raining down blessings on me. I I, I don't I don't think so. See, to the unspiritual and uh, you know, to the natural it'll look it'll look that way, like oh T is gone and things he it's not. Things are not going to be better. I'm sorry. You left. And for if there's any woman out there that's watching this, you even thinking about leaving your husband because you're emotional or you feel like he... Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down because you don't know... It, if you unbeliever, do whatever you want to do. But if you so-called even believe to say, I believe this Bible, I believe Jesus, all that... Sit, sit down. Don't leave. Uh, anyway, she's been warned. She has been warned. I told her, I told her, I tried. <laughs> Everybody keeps the story about abandoning my family. That's not so. It is not so. But my wife has come in and, and put poison and the children, she's uh, pretty sure she's erasing uh, any memories of me. I, I know she is, because like I said, I'm not anywhere on that piano. Carl, Jane. And, and on top of this, check this out. This, this is, I, 
I they would never even maybe mention this because they have to make everything look as if I'm this wicked bad guy. So and I was in last last story. <laughs> I was in Chicago. I was in Chicago uh, my last uh, little run in the NFL, and I stayed in Chicago over the summer to recover, train, and just get treatment and all, everything I need to be able to be ready for the season. And what I would do was I would go visit with my mother-in-law's mom, who is a, was a Buddhist, whatever, I don't know, you know, she's J Japanese, whatever the Japanese people believe. She was one of those weird little religions. And uh, yeah, I think she called herself a Buddhist or whatever. So I'm in Chicago. I got nothing but time after, you know, I do my treatment and stuff. And so I would go visit with grandma and just sit with her and just give her company. Just give her company because she was like 80 or 90 something years old. She's an old, old lady. Lived a long time. And so I would go spend time with her. I'm like, you know, I can go. I can go do that. I got time. You know, it's not going to. And so I would always go at a certain specific time every time I went to go see grandma. Now, I didn't have to waste or spend any time with grandma. I had, it's just what was in my heart that I wanted to do. Not for my mother-in-law, not for my wife. It's just, I just want to go spend time. This lady's old. You know, she's lived a long life. Like, my hope is that she can accept Jesus. And, 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 you know, at the time, this is my thinking, you know, and maybe have a chance to still make it to the kingdom. And so I would go spend time with her and talk to her about Jesus, you know, the very little that I knew <laughs> at the time. Um, and, but I did, I did, my heart was in the right place. And so one day I finished my training, finished working out, treatment, whatever it was. And something was like, go see grandma now. I'm like, I'm like, I got like two hours before I got to go see her. Like, and it was like, go now. So it was put in my spurs. So I said, you know what? Let me just, let me just go. I, I ain't got nothing else going on today. Let me just go over a little early. I go over a little early. I call her. I usually call grandma. Hey, grandma, I'm on my way. I'm coming outside. Boom. She picks it. Oh, okay, TJ. I'll be. Whatever. I get there. Grandma not picking up the phone. Ring the doorbell. Grandma not coming to the door. So I'm like, all right, this ain't, this is not good. Go downstairs, get the neighbor, call my mother-in-law. Say, hey, listen, she's not picking up the phone. Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I get into the house. Grandma is on the floor in the bathroom. On the floor in the bathroom. And the only reason she was not dead at the time is literally because the father sent me over there to go early. Didn't know why I was going early. Just went over there early. And I listened to what was in my spirit. Went over there. Grandma was on the floor. Been laying there for hours. So now, I, after that, after that, it goes from me doing that, blessing that family to the, I mean, just to Miss Jane, you, yes, you, Jane, chasing me down your driveway on ice, trying to give me false documents. What did I do? Till this day, all I can say, TJ, you abandoned your family. Okay, cool. Even if I abandoned my family, I'm back. I'm here. I was at my home. My wife never brought the children. And this is what they do. This is what they do. And Carl, shame on you. Because you know I've caused no harm to your daughter. Or to them children. And you let your daughter. Who's had the most out of your whole family. Out of all your children. She's had the most. And now you let her come and disrupt your peace. You guys deserve. What you get. And what you have. So Anna fill up your cup. Enjoy it. Have a good time. Because when destruction comes. It's going to come. And it's going to come hard. Understand that. And this ain't going to be no destruction for me. I'm, I'm good. But you've shown that you hate, you hate the father. You think you, you do not love him whatsoever. You don't. You do not love your children. And you damn sure, I know you don't love yourself. 
it's not possible. So enjoy. I hope the home sells. Hope you get what you uh what you hope for. Um, like I said, your next move is adultery. Uh, it's bound to happen. But I just read the conditions when the wife leaves. I, I, I didn't write this book. I'm only I'm only 29 years old. This book has been around for thousands and thousands of years. I didn't write it. <clears throat> but do with it as you please. Bless y'all.